pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Good morning. So last night I went shopping and have a haul for you guys. Um, I went to Trader Joe's, Costco, and Kohl's. So I've got lots of groceries and then I'll also do like a try on clothes haul from the stuff I got at Kohl's. I got some really good deals. I only spent like $30 and got a few different things. So it's exciting. Um, but let's start off with food. So Costco first, just because I hardly got anything from there. I actually ended up getting some clothes from Costco. So they had these leggings and my sister had been raving about them. They're so soft. They have three different colors. So I got all three just to try because some of the clothes from Costco just aren't there for very long. So you kind of want to be quick about like if you like something, get it. You can always return it. They have a great return policy. So I got this blue, like blue green teal kind of color, pink color. It's kind of like maroonish. And then the ones I'm definitely going to keep as long as they fit are the gray and black they're all kind of like heathered but that's from costco and then i got these snacks also a recommendation from my sister um they are almond nuggets and they're dark chocolate and then i got some raspberries and strawberries so it was a very quick short costco haul then I went to Trader Joe's. We went to Trader Joe's and this was last night, but um, we already ate some stuff from it. So my husband Nasheed made himself a sandwich with some of the stuff I picked up. So I got this Applewood smoked salami and he says it's really, really good. When you're pregnant, you're like not supposed to eat lunch meat. So I haven't tried any of this. Peppered turkey breast. It all smells really good. And pepper jack cheese. He also used the bread that we got, which is this sprouted sourdough bread. So sprouted bread is just really good for you. Um, it has lots of healthy grains, I guess. <laughs> and then these chips are so good. They're not healthy, but we started eating them. I ate a bunch last night, but I think they're like actual Trader Joe's brand. Yeah, and they're just ridge cut potato chips, salt and pepper. Highly recommend, very tasty. Then we got some fruit. So I got some honey crisp apples. Honey crisp are the best. Oh, these aren't honey crisp. Never mind. Jazz apples. Honey crisp are the best, but I guess I didn't get them. A bunch of bananas, some pears. They're just regular old pears. And that's it for fruit. Then I went off on some stuff that I just wanted to try. So um, a lot of it is kind of pumpkin-y. I got spinach tortellini, pumpkin ravioli, which I definitely want to try this. I think I'm gonna eat it today. So I'll, I'll do a little like te taste test for you guys goat cheese and sun-dried tomato ravioli so these are all kind of small and they're like um three to four dollars but i figure it'll be a meal and three dollars isn't so bad for a lunch for me when i don't know what else i want and that just sounds good so it's fine they have so much pumpkin stuff i could have like popped off but i just got things that I really wanted to try. So this is a pumpkin bisque, which I think will be really good. Then this is also seasonal. It's a butternut squash mac and cheese. And when they were uh, ringing me up, the cashier said that this is really good. They wish they had it all year round. Pumpkin rolls, which I think you can get these a lot of places, but I figure the Trader Joe's ones are probably really good. And then I got a couple of frozen pizzas. So I got this one for me. It's cauliflower crust cheese pizza. Oh, and it's gluten-free, yeah. I think this will be really good. Well, it's gluten-free because it's cauliflower crust, but anyways. <laughs> and then I got this one for Nasheed. He likes more like meat on his pizza. So this has Italian sausage, uncurred, 
pepperoni, roasted peppers, and roasted onions. So we like doing like a little date night where we'll cook up some frozen pizzas, make a salad, have, uh, well, we used to have wine. <laughs> I can't drink wine, so maybe we'll have some sparkling cider or something. But that is it from Trader Joe's. And then I just wanna show you guys the clothes that I got from Kohl's and I'll do a try on with it. First, I'm gonna put away all this stuff because it's actually like frozen and cold stuff that I took out to do the haul when there was light outside, but let's put it away. So first I just wanted to try on these pants that I got from Costco, the leggings. So they're super high waisted, which is really nice. Um, I got an extra large so that they would fit like while I'm pregnant for a little, but they're also um, like kind of stretchy and tight. They have pockets, which is nice. And they're seriously so soft, so I really like them. Let's get a mirror view. This is what they look like in the mirror. They're super comfy. I think they would be good for um, like going around and stuff. I don't know if they'll be, if I would wear them like to work out because um, they're a really like soft warm material so I'd probably get warm and I like the way they look but I don't love the way they look where I think I'll probably keep all three pairs but let's try on the other colors to see okay these are the pink maroon-ish ones I feel like they're a lot longer on me maybe I just like had the other ones pulled up um, but they are really comfy they're so soft this color is kind of fun and I do like the way that they look. It's not bad. goes with this shirt, I guess. Not that I would wear this anywhere other than home, but I'm working from home now, so I need lots of comfy clothes. <laughs> and finally, the blue ones. So now I have to decide which ones I want to keep. I don't think I need to keep all three because I don't know how long they'll fit with being pregnant. Um, they're really comfy right now. So I put on some jeans to wear like with the try on, but this was the first thing that I got from Kohl's and probably my favorite thing. It's just this zip up um, kind of hoodie thing. It was in the junior section. It's leopard, it's like soft and fuzzy kind of, but this like totally different fuzzy material. It kind of feels like weird, but I like it, it's cool. And it has these bands on the sleeves and the bottom, which I like, and I love this zipper detail. So this is really cute and it was only $6.40. Everything I got was on clearance and then their clearance was like take an additional 20% off. So love this and it's very warm and cozy. This top was actually something that my sister had bought when she was at Kohl's another time and um, I tried it on because she said she was probably going to return it and I like it. It's really warm and fuzzy and cute. It's got like the mock neck. Um, where it's, you know, a little bit shorter than a turtleneck. Stripes, which I of course love, and it is neutral colors, which I'm really into neutral right now. So I decided to keep this, and it was, I think, five, yeah, 550, so I just need to pay her back for this. But I thought it was cute. Then I got this really cute little Disney top. It's a little bit, um, like, cropped, which is super cute, but um, I don't know how long it'll last with me being pregnant, probably not very long. But I love it. It's got the Mickey head with cheetah print. So it's so, so cute. If you don't um, know me, then you don't know. I absolutely love Disney. I actually have a whole separate Instagram account that's dedicated to my Disney memories. It's called Disney Castle Memories. I have it linked in the description box. Um, but I absolutely love this top. I think it's super cute. And it was, I th believe it was 540 after the extra 20% off. The next thing I got is this cute sweater. So it is white with gold sparkly stripes. It has these button details on the sleeves and then this band that I really like the placement of. When I tried it on, I thought it would be like down here, but it's actually like kind of right on your stomach so that kind of holds in and looks cute. So um, again, with this one, not sure with being pregnant, how long it will last and look good, but I love it. It's so pretty, and it was 860. 
um, after the extra discount. So I really like it. I think the buttons are like a nice extra touch too and the touch of sparkle is fun. Um, I don't know how my husband would feel about this, but I like it. And last but not least is this cheetah leopard. This must be leopard. Um, obviously I'm into animal prints, but this is just a knitted top is what it's called. So it's actually really good quality, really good material. Um, I like the like scoop hemline and I just thought it fit nice and it's cute. I thought it'd be cute as I get more pregnant with some leggings and boots or jeans and boots, depending on what's fitting me at the time. But I just thought it was cute. And this one was $10.40 after the discount. I'm cooking the pumpkin ravioli now for lunch. So I have water boiling and then it says you just put it in for two to two and a half minutes. Finished making my pumpkin ravioli. It looks really good. I don't have any like, well, I think I have some Alfredo sauce, but I just figured I'd try this tossing it with just olive oil, salt, and pepper. So I wanted to do a taste test for you guys to see what it really tastes like. Um, I'm not sure what the pumpkin stuff tastes like, but I wanted to show you. And then I'll also show you, look at the inside of the ravioli. So this is the inside. It's got like I assume that's just like pumpkin filling stuff. So let's try it. It's really good. It just tastes like pumpkin, but it's not like an overpowering strong flavor. It's really tasty. I like it. And it's good with just the salt and pepper and oil. I don't know like what kind of sauce would be good. Let me know if you guys have a really good like go-to sauce that or sauce recipe that you use for uh, ravioli, tortellini, anything like that because I love pasta, but I typically just do like olive oil, balsamic vinaigrette, sometimes some red wine vinegar, um, just kind of some kind of like vinaigrette and seasoning. So let me know what you guys typically do. And that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, definitely make sure to subscribe to follow along. I am 18, almost 19 weeks pregnant, which is crazy. And um, we have our 20 week ultrasound coming up soon, um, next week. Oh my gosh, next week. So we're gonna find out the gender. Um, I'm gonna give the envelope to my mom and sister and then we're gonna do a whole little gender reveal party with some friends and family. So definitely stay tuned for that and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will see you next time. Bye.